Hey guys, I'm Kevin, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey guys, I'm Kevin, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make soba noodles for the backcountry. Hi guys, earlier this year, my wife and I went on a little backpacking trip on the Superior Hiking Trail and we tried a new meal, soba noodles, and it turned out to be one of the best meals we've, we've had yet. So I thought I'd share that with you. You're gonna want some ground beef, some thawed frozen spinach, a red pepper or two, some mushrooms, some buckwheat soba noodles, some good quality soy sauce. As an option, you can add some fish sauce and some rice vinegar. You'll want to have some sesame seeds as a garnish. And you can add some freeze dried garlic and ginger. So I simply start by adding my ground beef to some boiling water. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do some additional ground beef for some other recipes. I'll be dehydrating this meat separately from the rest of the meal. I'm just going to stir it around and that'll break up any chunks uh, that there might, might be. I want this to cook nice and evenly. And I'll just cover it and let it come back to a boil. It's boiling now, some foam on top. And... Uh, yeah, that's nicely cooked. Next, I'm going to drain this in a colander. And one thing I do is I add some additional boiling water to uh, re help remove any fat that may be stuck to the meat. The next step is to spread the meat out on the dehydrator trays. At this point, it's a good idea to break up any chunks that might exist. We've got to cut up our mushrooms and our peppers. You don't have to do this step, but I like to saute the mushrooms and red peppers. The last thing to cook is the soba noodles. They're pretty straightforward. You put them in boiling water and they cook in about two or three minutes. You don't want to overcook them. Just like pasta, you'll drain your soba noodles. But unlike pasta, you'll want to rinse your soba noodles in cool water. The last step is to load all of the ingredients onto the dehydrator trays. So 
so we're down here in the basement. I'm fortunate enough to have two dehydrators. This is my old one that uh, only runs on high. So I'm going to put my meat in that one. Turn that on. And all my veg is going to go in this one. I'm going to plug that in and set it to fruits and vegetables, 135. This has been going overnight, should be done. Hamburger looks great. Vegetables look good. Spinach looks fine. And so do the soba noodles. I flipped them over once in the process. So the soba noodles come in these nice individual serving size packets and I put three of these in the boiling water. What I'm going to do is make two, two different meals, one for myself and one for myself and my wife. So I'm taking a third of all the soba noodles by weight and that'll go into one meal. So they're going to have to get crushed up a little bit in order to fit. That's all right. You won't get that full effect of the long noodles, but on the trail, you're going to enjoy this. So I'm going to do the same thing with the spinach and take only about a third of the weight. Same thing with the peppers, a third of the weight. Same thing with the mushrooms, one third of the weight. So there's my meal without the meat. Comes to about 129 grams. I'm going to top that up with hamburger to get to 150. There we go. 160 is close enough because the bag is about 6 or 7 grams. The last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of freeze-dried ginger and garlic to the bag. I'm going to do this over a bowl so I don't spill any. Here's my soy sauce. And if that's all you want to add is soy sauce, that's fine. But I'm going to use about a third soy sauce, about a third fish sauce, and I'm going to add about a third of rice vinegar. And that's going into a 15 milliliter bottle. last thing I'm going to do is fire up my vacuum sealer and make a little pocket for the sesame seeds. Perfect. So I've got my meal here and I'm going to add my sesame seeds and my soy sauce and rice vinegar and fish sauce. There's my meal. I'm going to throw that in the freezer till it's trip time. 
There we go, two bags of soba noodles. One meal is for myself, and one meal is for myself and my wife. Soba noodles. Looking good. Mm, this is really good. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.